Yeah, good day, YouTubers. Uh, Spanner Man again here with another video. Hope you enjoy the video today. Please subscribe to the channel. Any comments, thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. G'day YouTubers, uh, Spanner Man again here with another video. Uh, today we're going to talk about chainsaw bars. Now, there's all different bars on the market. Uh, lightweight ones, hard nose ones, uh, or yeah, hard nose at the front, replaceable, or fully uh, hard nose bars. And there's all different brands from overseas, lightweight ones. So lightweight ones are becoming very popular at the moment. What I'd like to talk about is if you want to upgrade your chainsaw to a larger bar. Now you've got to have a good reason to do it. So in front of us here, I upgraded this to a 16 inch bar. It's an MS-170, comes brand new with a 14 inch bar. I put a 16 inch bar on it. Now, why did I put a 16 inch bar in it? Not to cut bigger logs. To enable me to get into tighter little positions with an extra two inch reach so that was the reason that i only put a, a larger one on there and okay i don't want to be cutting let's just say the 14 inch bar this is a 14 inch bar that was on it that's the bar that it came with i don't want to be cutting logs and having this nose right to the end now you get a little bit of kickback sometimes, so I want to avoid this area of the... Ch so the usable, virtually from where my thumb is here, you can see where the paint is, so it's that part there. So virtually from about there to where the hole is, that would be the biggest... And, and if you look at the dog spikes I've got on, you're only going to cut something about that big. Yeah, Generally, that would be the biggest I would cut. So having that extra two inches allows me to have a little bit more clearance at the back and a little bit more clearance at the front from the nose. Yeah, look, maybe two inches might rub a little bit of a fraction of horsepower there, but I don't notice it. So, And the other thing is, this 16-inch bar come off the 180RC uh, in the background at the back there. So this saw over here, that's a MS-180C, so... If we look at the size of this saw, this is 30.1 cc's and the MS-180C is 31.8 cc's, not even 2 cc's difference and they put a 16 inch bar on it. So if they could put a 16 inch bar on that, I can put a 16 inch bar on this one, it's only a fraction uh, smaller. As I said, I don't use it to cut bigger logs, I use it to uh, get into uh, more tight little areas. So. What if, and we'll just sort of put another saw in here. So that's the MS-170. We'll get out the bigger saw here. It's a bit of an older saw. I've had it for 17 years. I'll just zoom back out there. So this saw here is an MS-380. Uh, set about 17 years old back in the day it would have been regarded as a pro saw because everything on its heavy duty the clutch is much bigger than the, the ms311 which is this one here there's not as much plastic in this it has a double roller bearing for the clutch uh, whereas a lot of the saws like the ms311 only has a single needle roller for the clutch so everything's more heavy duty on this saw. So back in the day, this is regarded as a pro saw. But they never called them that then. And uh, if you were, this comes standard with a 20 inch bar. So, okay. Can you put a 25 inch bar on it? Yeah, sure you can. Is it going to cut? Uh, how good's it going to cut? It's not going to cut very good with a 25 inch bar. So there's a 25 inch bar. That's a 25 inch bar, so it's not going to cut very good. It's going to bog down. But you just heard me say, yes, you can use that. Not with a standard chain. 
need to put a skip chain in. Okay, for those beginners out there, they might go, what the hell's a skip chain? Well, quite clearly, if you have a look, you'll see a tooth, a drive link, and a tooth. That's a standard chain. Whereas you look at a skip chain, you'll see a tooth and two drive links. You count them. So look at the difference. So if we look here, this tooth starts here and the next tooth starts there. Whereas the next tooth on here is 30% up further. So a skip chain has 30% less teeth. Now, if we say you've got a 20 inch bar and you add 30% to the length of that, it comes to 26 inches. So you can use a 25 inch bar or a 24 inch bar. So sometimes bars come in different sizes, but that was a 25 inch bar. It's called a Hurricane Pro. Uh, but yeah, you can use... You can use 24, 25, 26. Depends on the manufacturer out there. But you certainly go bigger. But you want a skip chain. So let's say you put a 25 inch bar on here. But you never ever cut anything that's near 20. Uh, say 24 inches. So there's no point doing it. So where would you put a 25 inch bar on a saw like this? Well... Let's just say you don't want to go out and buy an MS660, which will cost you a couple thousand dollars. MS660 has a much, it's a much bigger saw and it's got much more horsepower. It's 91.1 cc's. So this is 72 cc saw. So as you can see, it's a lot bigger. So you could quite easily put a 30 inch on a uh, MS660. So if I was to put a 25-inch bar on this and don't change the chain to a skip chain, all as I would achieve is a poor man's MS660. It's not going to cut and get through the logs uh, very good. The moment you put the skip chain on, it'll cut through that log. No problems whatsoever, but not at the same rate uh as what you'd expect it'll be a lot slower getting through it but it won't bog down because it's got 30 percent less teeth on it so that's the situation where you can use a bigger bar on a, a medium type uh saw and and they do that quite a lot that's quite common to put a skip chain on a saw rather than buy a new saw you might just go out and uh you might have an 18 inch saw there's a good example it could be a uh Look, an 18 inch, uh, an, an 18 inch saw or bar could be on a 45 cc chainsaw, and you want to put a 20 inch on there. My recommendation is, if that was the case, uh, you could use a narrower kerf because they come in three different gauges. You've got your your 50 thou your 58 thou and your 63 thou this is 63 thou 063 gauge so if you wanted to go up by two inches on an 18 inch saw depends what uh gauge that it had but let's just say it had a it had a uh 58 gauge 058 you could go to an 050 gauge and uh quite easily put that two inches on there and get away with that just remember it's okay to occasionally cut a log that's a little bit bigger. But don't think that you're going to put a 25-inch bar on that and say, oh, this is like an MS-660. No, nothing like an MS-660. MS-660 is going to eat this alive. No comparison whatsoever. So that's the only time if you're going to extend your bar on a medium-sized saw put a skip chain on you could possibly do it with a 35 cc saw to a 45 cc saw cc saw put a skip chain and a larger bar on all of those you get away with that try and go for a narrower kerf as i said generally speaking your 043 gauge or your 43 
uh, thou gauge is normally for smaller saws till you get up to about 40 cc's and then they jump to 050 gauge 050 gauge can normally go up to 50 cc saws and then you jump jumping into 058 and 063 so there's a little bit of playing around that you can do uh yeah so when we talk about a narrower curve just for those that are don't know or not familiar with that when you've got the two teeth left and right they'll cut a certain gap so on an 043 gauge if you measure from one side of the tooth to the other side of the tooth and, and that'll make a cut that cut could be I don't know five and a half millimeters in in width whereas if you go to an 050 gauge or an 058 gauge that just gets width gets wider and wider and it takes more horsepower to make that cut so that's the only uh, thing that you can do if you want to put a larger bar on uh, put a skip chain on look thanks for watching I hope that information helps uh, but in most cases you'll most likely stick with the manufacturer's recommendation it's only if you've got as I said this particular saw here on the property that I used to own had some larger trees and I got a 25 inch bar that I put on it but I put a skip chain on it and I get away with that look I might be doing 10% but if I was cutting at least 50% I would get rid of this saw and I'd use an MS660 I do have an MS660 uh, I just didn't pull it out here I just wanted to sort of look at the uh, medium type saws and the, the lower saws uh, are probably the saws that you may fit a bigger bar on because as you go to the bigger saws, they've got the horsepower, they've got the grunt. Uh, normally you don't have to uh, sacrifice or worry about putting a larger bar on there because it's horses for courses. Bye for now.